Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 4 of ATV Off-Road Fury. And in this episode, we are going to be checking out the last little bit of content left in the game that I have not touched, necessarily. Uh, but we have done, uh, well, the Maxis Nationals, I think Maxis Nationals is like racing out, yeah. It's literally just basically what we did in the f for the second episode. Uh, pretty much all of the tracks that we raced on are in there. So that is unnecessary to go through again. Stadium Supercross, again, is the second part of the career that I just did in the last episode. And these are all of our tracks from there. Blah, blah, blah. But then that leaves, uh, besides the pro career, because that is what I did, it leaves the freestyle competition and cross-country enduro. So, uh, the way I'm going to do this is we're going to do the cross-country enduro. We're not going to do it. We're going to um, simply do... I don't know exactly how it works, specifically. Uh, I guess there's three different lengths of tracks that we can do. Maybe we'll do one of every one. Uh, but it's basically... Uh, I'll do three laps, just to make it simple. Um, one player... We'll start with the canyon... You know what? What's look, what looks interesting? There's an air aircraft airport airbase. You know what? Hold on, I'm curious. I want to go to the airbase. Uh, so I guess we'll do the short, medium, and long races for Fort Roberts, and then we will hop over and check out some of the freestyle stuff after that. Uh, and I did unlock more ATVs. Nope. There we go. Uh, let's go with red this time. So the Ravage Talon, I believe, is one that I unlocked. And the Haw... No, wait. Which one did I unlock? Polaris 500. Fucking Yamaha Blaster, little fella. And the Banshee, the long boy that I used. Kawasaki... I don't actually remember. I guess maybe it is the Ravage ones. Havoc Siege, Havoc Razor, fake brands because yay. Yeah, so we have the Ravage 1000, which has maxed out stats, and the DCX, which is just really good on stability, apparently. The Eagle, which is kind of more well, uh, well balanced. And then the Hawk, which apparently has no traction, and the Talon, which has all the traction. Um, so you know what? I guess we could use a different one of these each time. Uh, I think there are four, right? So we got the Talon. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five. Uh, I guess we'll just start with the Talon and see what happens. Uh, sure. I don't really know what to expect out of this because I have not done this myself. I know that it exists because... Uh, I'm still keeping up with uh, Ryan, Rhino GT4's Let's Play, uh, just to kind of know what to like look for in the game, because I don't know a whole lot about these games. I never played these games as a kid, never had a PS2 as a kid, so I never had the chance to play them. So I'm kind of learning as I go, and uh, this looks to be basically the only thing left that's like actually racing related that actually has different stuff. We have to follow the arrow. And I believe, because I didn't actually really watch the videos. Yeah, there's actually checkpoints. Uh, and I think these might... I think I the clutch. These might be freestyle track, or freestyle maps. Oh, we gotta go this way now. I'm not entirely sure of how any of this works. But again, um, I do want to go through a lot of this stuff. Still. And I might end up doing that, like, you know, I might emulate it or something, but I might go on to the other channel that I have that's more based off of, or based on doing, oh god, just like gameplays and stuff instead of like actual let's plays with my voice and face and whatever else. So, you can check that out, um, at least on my channel. Hopefully I'll remember to put it in the description finally. So, yeah. If you want to see all of every little bit of content, as well as more of like the individual four-wheelers and stuff, I believe I will be putting all that stuff over there. So we do have three laps, it seems. Excuse me. Okay, just push me out of the way, bitch. So this seems to be slightly difficult. 
because they seem to be slightly fast. It may have been the four-wheeler that I chose. Not entirely sure. Why does all the sound stop? <laughs> ah, shit, I forgot there's a right turn here. But yeah, it's basically just, like, more so, uh, find your way to the gates kind of thing. And I believe this will get more interesting when we get the longer races, maybe? Not, maybe, possibly? I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. I don't have a good top speed, it seems, compared to the other four-wheelers. Uh, I believe the next one is this way. Yes. Haha, <laughs> later, nerds. Just gotta be smart and actually learn where the track goes. And I think these are called Enduros not because they're long, but because there's like Enduro Racing. It's like actually a name of something. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I may absolutely be wrong. Um, but I think there's actually like a race series that's called Enduro or something like that for four-wheelers and dirt bikes or something like that. I don't know. I legitimately don't. So if anybody can enlighten me, I will accept it. Yeah, I got in first place. And there we go. We got... Longest jump. My name is in there because I didn't, it's not the career. Also, the career save I had got deleted. Apparently when you complete the career, it deletes it. So now I'm going to, I don't feel like putting in the whole name, so I'm just going to put test. We'll do that. We got a high score with the track, I believe. And now we will go ahead and... Go back to this, and we'll do the medium race for three laps, I guess. And we'll do the Ravage Hawk this time. See how it goes. Use some different four-wheelers for once. Because I used the Banshee, and that was it throughout the career. I didn't get to change it at all, so... Now I guess we get to actually attempt to use a little bit more of the content of the game. Maybe. Hopefully. This is one of those games where it's not like it wasn't meant to have a ton of content and like a lot of opportunities to use stuff. It was more so like, hey, give this to your kids so they can race four-wheelers on arcade mode 10,000 times. You know? Which is something I did as a kid with uh, mostly like Forza Motorsport 1 and Project Gotham Racing 2 and stuff like that. Uh, oh, okay, this thing's a little... Feels a little slippery, actually. Learn where the track goes so I can cut some corners later on. Straight ahead? Nope. Okay. And we'll see how our medium race here goes. I guess I could stay behind and actually watch where they go a little bit. But it's kind of cool because this is more out in, in uh, like an open area. Kind of like the races in MX Unleashed, actually, which is a game I actually played during my childhood, because I did have an Xbox, so I did have MX Unleashed. And you better believe I played it in 1080i. Uh, <laughs> it seems somewhat familiar. It seems like the uh, like the, the monster truck race and stuff like that was also, I think, kind of similar to this. So that's kind of interesting. Go ahead. Wow. This, they're right next to each other. I've already gotten the fastest lap. So that's cool. I've already beaten the high score. I also don't have to win this in any way. Hey, airplanes. There's literally no reason for me to actually have to win this, but I'll try. Airplane! Airplane! I pressed the look back button for some reason. Ow. Uh, oh god, we're going this way, not that way. Okay. I forgot. I'm sorry. I'll work my way back up a little bit here and there. This one seems like it might have more speed than the last four-wheeler. Eh, maybe. Maybe not. God, I need to... I, I can't... I'm not remembering where the, the track goes. Let's see if I get another fastest lap real quick. Hell yeah, I did. I believe that's what the blue means. I'm fairly sure, at least. Later, nerds. Please don't hit the pole. Thank you for not hitting the pole. This isn't good. Damn it. No, my first place. Son of a bitch. I worked so hard for that. I was thinking this is going to leave basically only Gran Turismo 7 as a specifically video Let's Play. 
and then also of course the Borderlands DLC that I was streaming through and uh, Need for Speed Unbound that I was also streaming through. I don't really count Need for Speed Unbound as an actual Let's Play because of the fact that I'm not 100%ing it and also just streaming it. Uh, but yeah, this will be the last of what I need to like complete for like actual video Let's Plays. I lost, by the way. That's fine. I got the best lap, I think. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> 245.40 was the best lap. Huh. Interesting. Anyways, I don't care that I lost. I will put my name in. New high score. Because, yeah, this is just one of those things where it's like, get the high score from the AI or whatever kind of thing. All right, so we'll do Fort Roberts, and we'll do the long race now and see how that goes. And that will be what I show off for this mode. We'll do, you know what? Since, uh, so we'll leave the DCX and the Eagle. I'm gonna use the thousand for this race considering it has literally maxed out stats. I am curious to see how it drives. And I'd like to use it in a more uh, race format than a just cruise around format. It's basically just doing free roam whenever you do freestyle stuff. Similar to other ATV and MX games. I have a bunch of the MX games. I think they're mostly downloaded though. I think I even have one on PC. Maybe? Maybe not. Go! Later, nerds. I have the big fast uh, left. Yes. Okay. And right. Yes. Good. Left. This thing seems to be kind of fast, not gonna lie. Oh, left again. Don't hit the tree. Thank you for not hitting the tree. Uh, shit, we gotta go to the right. I was not prepared for that. Ah, I hit my head on the plane. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I don't wanna... I don't wanna be here. Let me please leave, thank you. I'm kind of losing, which is cool. You know what? I don't care. It is what it is, you know? The problem is I can't tell where the next checkpoint is going to be until I actually get to it. It does show up on the map for half a second, but only for half a second. And it's only sometimes. That's a... <laughs> very good. Very nice. Very clean. I like it. Oh, we gotta go this way now. So I will be taking my last place with Joy, because I don't care. This is specifically for reasons of showing off little things in the game and everything being thorough-ish. I could be more thorough. I've chosen not to be, though. Okay, so that is a lap, I believe. I do believe so. Oh, shit. Let's we'll see if I can catch up. I don't think so, considering I'm further behind now than I was. That was only three seconds, and now I'm almost six seconds ahead. Or behind, not ahead. I wish I was ahead. That's a tree. Ow. I have bonked said tree. Fuck, I keep forgetting. This is a right-hander. You don't go to the one straight ahead. Fuck. Ten seconds behind. All right, let's go. Good, uh, good use of the, the most powerful, fastest four-wheeler in the game, you know? Yep. Very good use for it. Motorcycles. Or motorcycles. Fucking airplanes. Ooh. Oof, ouchie. That shit hurt it a little bit, don't you know? I got back a little bit. Well, it's slowly becoming bigger again. Also, I'm catching up to some of the AI, but not first place, apparently. First place is just fucked off. And third lap time. Final lap. We'll see if I can get in not last, at least, because you are in last. And I've caught up by five seconds out of nowhere. Okay. Alright, gotta go this way. 
can't really follow the AI as efficiently as I was doing before. But maybe I'll remember things this time. Maybe the other, the, the first place AI is in the same, or on the same bike as I am. I wonder. I don't know. It was right there. I literally, I see them right there. Hello? Can I catch up to you before the end of this? Maybe. Come here, you little bastard. I will pass you. I will come back from my 10 seconds behind. Why does it say I'm three seconds behind still when I just took first place? I don't know. I think we're coming up on the end, actually, too. I believe so. Yes, that is the... Oh, that was the finish line. Okay. Hooray, I did it. And there we go. That is the Enduro mode. So basically you do that in, like, what did I say? Five different areas? Six? Something like that? I don't know. That's the Enduro... Cross Country Enduro mode. And that leaves one singular thing left, which we will just have a quick little look at, which is the freestyle competition. Um, so, we can do single race or practice. We have a time limit. Uh, sure, I'll do a time limit of three minutes. I will probably suck. Also, it is literally just the freestyle areas that you can choose for this. For the Enduro, I should say. And we'll go with this one, because this one looks interesting. Yardley Station. And we shall, I guess, use... You know what? I'm trying to use... I'm trying to use this one, because it has the crazier stats. But we'll do this real quick, and the goal is to get a certain amount of points, I guess. Kind of like, again, like uh, MX Unleashed. I'm basing everything I know about... MX and ATV games off of MX Unleashed because it is the only one I've played other than this one. I have a bunch. I have every ATV off-road Fury game plus... Well, I don't have the PSP one. I lied. I have everyone but the PSP one. Um, I have to remember how to do tricks now. Fuck. So basically... Um, yeah, it's as simple as jump, do uh That's a... How do I... How do I do tricks? Is it the right stick? It might be the right stick. Because I had just pressed all of the buttons on my controller and nothing happened. Is it the right bumper? I don't know how to do tricks. I also don't think it's possible to do backflips in this game because you just fall off your bike. Oh, I think it's I think it's a D-pad actually. I think I just did that by hitting the D-pad. Hold on. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. No D-pad. What the fuck did I press? Because, wait, hold on. Can I look at the controls? Camera controls, statistics. Nope. Okay. Um, I don't know what I pressed. So D-pad is literally just another uh, steering device, is what I've learned. Oh, there we go. I did something. I get a tail grab. I don't know what button I pressed for that. I think it was either triangle or circle. Or is it... Is is square? Square is brake. Okay. Had to make sure. I didn't really use the brakes too much. So it's, it is, uh, it's triangle. Okay. Ow! I'm learning. I'm learning how to do things. Alright. I'm pretty sure it's just triangle plus a direction on the stick. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Don't lose it! Yes! And the goal is just to get a bunch of points, basically. You know the deal. What is this over here? Oh, this is like the little station area. That's cool. Haha! -ha. Oh my lord! I was not expecting the train tracks to be that there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, let's try and... I fucking did that on the tiniest jump possible. Come on, I gotta get at least 25,000 points. There definitely isn't quite the uh, the level of jumps and stuff there is in MX Unleashed, for sure. You can also hold stuff if you just hold the button down. I'm just not doing it because I'm fucking silly. Ow. Alright, can we have 50k before the, the time runs out? Uh, I need a jump. I need a jump. 
this isn't going to work out very well. Alright. It's a little starting area, so maybe... I don't really know how many tricks there are to do in this game. I don't know how to access all of them even, so... Ah! There we go. 51,000 points. Let's go. I don't know if there's a score to beat, but uh, there's a score I got. And there we go. Highest scoring stunt. Position... It might be mainly, like, multiplayer? Like, couch co-op? Co not couch co-op. Two-player multiplayer split screen. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, but there we go. That's freestyle. And that is everything in this entire game. So, of course, there will be a video on the credits after this video goes out. Uh, we do have a waypoint editor. You know, we'll have a look at that real quick. You can literally just put down uh, things. I'll go to somewhere different that I haven't been yet. Uh... What was it? The DCX? Okay, yeah, the Eagle was one I didn't use. Hold on. We'll do one more thing before we go. We'll, we'll fuck with the, the waypoint editor for half a second here. Just to show off, like, all the extras. I don't think there's cheat codes for this game. I should look that up real quick, actually. I apologize for my loud keyboard. I know it's loud. Um... So it appears there is an expert mode for the AI. There is a cheat code to unlock all the tracks, and there is a cheat code for the opponents to only drive the Ravage 1000. Hold on. Uh, so, anyways, waypoint. We just put a thing down, and then say I wanted to go over here, and I wanted to put a thing down. How do I? So move is D-pad. Oh, hey, look at that! You can move it back and forward. Um, you can rotate it, which is cool. You can go to the previous gate or the or the one, the next one. Cycle camera, just to have a closer look at our four wheeler here. Obviously, the the farther one is probably the better one. And then you can keep the race and just race on it, or you can discard it, which is what I'm going to do because I just wanted to show off how that works. Um, but yeah, the cheat codes are all opponents drive only drive the Ravage 1000. There's expert mode for the AI apparently. Unlock all the tracks and unlock the Ravage 1000 and ATV Fury gear, which is also something that I didn't fuck with. I guess I could look at that real quick. What is the Hall of Fame exactly? Ah, it's, okay, so it's just uh, high scores basically. So if I go to Fort Roberts, I do have the fastest lap. I don't have the fast or longest jump. Uh, and I didn't do a 5 lap race or a 10 lap race, which you can also do. So, there's that. What else was I going to look at? Oh yeah, the, so we'll go to, we'll just go to, we'll go to freestyle, because I just need to go to the gear on my driver. Blah, blah, blah. And if we go into here, we should have, oh yeah, the ATV Fury. Uh, gear. So yeah, here's all the gear, by the way, in case you were wanting to see it. I'll just scroll through it at a speed. It do be just gear. This is a decent amount, but yeah, we have the ATV Fury stuff unlocked. And I showed you all the four wheelers. We even used kind of all of them. So I think that's actually 100% of everything there is to show with this game. So. Thank you all so, so very much for watching this Let's Play. Hope you enjoyed it. And I guess uh, maybe someday we'll hit ATV Offer of Fury 2 as well, which it has, I think, more of a career mode to it, more progression stuff to do. Uh, so it wouldn't be quite as short as this game, but it's still not a very long game, if I remember right. But maybe I'll do something else. Maybe we'll hit MX Unleashed. Maybe we'll do, I don't know, something else. I don't know. Pure... Some other four-wheeler motorcycle dirt bike ra racing game. I don't know. I, I just pick things out at random, kind of. But anyways, that will conclude this Let's Play. So thank you all so, so very much for watching this one. And I will see you all in the next one, whatever that ends up being. Because I actually don't know what it's going to be. I'm just currently focusing on finishing things. But yeah, thanks for watching.